Hey everyone, so there are a lot of great covers of the song Sorrow by Pink Floyd out there, but a lot of the time I see guitarists playing the intro riff, which is also the outro riff uh, after the solo on live versions, like this. While this sounds fine, it's not quite correct. If you play it the way David Gilmour actually plays it, you'll get a much fuller sound. Let's take a look at some clips of him playing the intro riff from a couple of live versions, and then after I'll give a full demonstration of how to play it the right way. So here we have a clip of the performance of Sorrow from the 1994 Pulse concert video. Pay attention to his right picking hand. Let's play that again magnified. As you can see, he is hybrid picking, which is the technique of playing with a pick and plucking strings with the other fingers on his picking hand. He's playing more than just one note at a time, but the hybrid picking he's doing isn't terribly complicated. What he's doing is playing octave shapes, not just singular notes. He plays the bottom note on one string with his pick and plucks the upper note on another string with his middle finger. Also notice how after he plays the D octave shape, he picks a singular G note on the third fret on the low E string that is fretted with his left thumb. Let's fast forward to 2016 to the Rattle That Lock tour. Here we have another clip of Sorrow taken from David Gilmore's concert in Wrocław, Poland, which has some great shots of David's picking hand so you can see exactly what strings he's playing. This time, he's got his pick in his mouth, and he's plucking the octave shapes with his thumb and forefinger. Also slightly different from Pulse, he's playing the full octave shape for G, instead of just fretting one note with his thumb. So now that we've seen how David plays the riff, I'll go ahead and risk pissing off my neighbors, and demonstrate in full how to play the intro riff to Sorrow the right way. <laughs> 